In this video, I will explain you how to install the Curvair Headsail Reefing Furler, KRS. Your KRS is packed into two boxes. The first box contains all the mechanics, drum, swivel, junctions, half bearings, and more. I'm starting with the standard drive, torque tube, or turnbuckle cover, if necessary, depending on the force day option. Align the screws on the holes in the torque tube or turnbuckle cover. Then I'm installing only one link plate, SM or XL underneath the drum. I fit the lock into the drum and tighten the screw. Do not mount the second plates. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect the drum to the chain plate. From the second box, the tube extract the profiles. Use a carpet to protect the profiles. The total length of the furler is defined by the top profile. Here I'm using the turnbuckle cover to prepare a straight cut. Using some tape is really useful to prepare a clean cut. After the cut, I'm filing the end profile with smooth sandpaper. As the top profile is cut, it has to be drilled in order to install the ends components. I'm screwing a drill bush into the end stop to drill the profile. After drilling, I'm removing the drill bush. Put the two part of the deflector screw. Drill it at the four stay diameter plus zero. 5 millimeters. Insert the two half bearings into the junctions and then turn a quarter. Be careful of the junction. The top one is gray and has a notch on one hand which acts as a track end stop. You can insert the top swivel at this time before fitting the end stop. Do not forget to put the halyard deviator. Now I can start to connect the various profiles using the black junctions. After the complete assembly, I finish by the bottom profile which is different from the others. The low profile is smaller and has a notch to place the torque tube. The wide plastic tube prevents the low junction from going up as the top junction. The lowest junction is also gray but without notch. Insert the low profile with the notch to the top. If you have not inserted the swivel prevently, do it now. Then fit the profile to the torque tube or the turnbuckle cover. At this stage, I'm hoisting the complete profile with the Genoa halyard connected to the swivel. For this video, I show you on the carpet how to install the second plates on the toggle. The toggle is not supplied by Curvair, there are too many types. Now your Curvair furler installation is almost finished. You just have to install the stainless steel guide, then set up the luff guide. This halyard luff tool can be removed after Genoa installation.
Here I'm showing how to install the turnbuckle cover. This is basically the same principle as the standard torque profile. It is very important not to screw the turnbuckle cover to the profiles before adjusting the force day tension with the turnbuckle. Otherwise, the drum and the turnbuckle cover will not slide properly on the profiles. After force day adjustment, I can connect the link plate to the drum, and then screw the turnbuckle to the profile with the two top screws. You can now install your line back to the cockpit along stanchions with our specific KBS blocks. Your sailmaker will find all necessary information on each furler sail dimension and linkages in our user library. It's now time to enjoy your new Curvair furler.